What's up dweebs, welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Retro Collection Ahsoka Tano figure from Hasbro. Alright, so straight up you can see that this version of Ahsoka is on a Mandalorian branded card. What gives, you may be asking? Is she not the star of her own show? This release actually came out last year following Ahsoka's first live action appearance in The Mandalorian Season 2. However, a couple of weeks ago Hasbro announced that they would be repacking this figure as part of an Ahsoka themed retro collection wave. So if that's of interest to you, check out this review, see if you like the figure, and then pick it up for a good price now before Hasbro wax another fiver on the RRP. And just before we get started, I want to let you know that I bought this figure with my own cash monies, and as such, all opinions are my own. Let's get this retro Ahsoka open. Straight up out of the package, the retro collection Ahsoka looks, well, very retro indeed. She's got a good neutral stance, pretty much what you would expect for a vintage style figure. Her orange skin, bright blue and white leku, and silver armour plates all contrast nicely against the muted blues, greys and browns of her robes. She's got a striking visage that's very cool and definitely very Star Wars. Looking at Ahsoka's head close up reveals the simplest of details. It's not really fair to say that this doesn't look like Rosario Dawson, because honestly I don't think Hasbro were even trying to capture anything about the character's on screen appearance. The vintage aesthetic means basic eyes and a vaguely human shaped face for all that's needed to pass and, well, it's up to you to decide if that's a style that you're willing to roll with. Less subjective are the tea hinged swivel legs which leave an enormous gap in Ahsoka's crotch. Yes, it's nowhere near as obvious in hand as it is here on the screen but it's still a lot bigger than it needed to be and frankly it just looks a little bit sloppy. Otherwise though, some of the sculpting is great for the style. A belt, gauntlet, shin guards and boots all evoke that vintage Star Wars action figure feeling. As a 5 poa action figure you know exactly what you're getting with a retro collection of Sokotano when it comes to articulation. We've got a swivel head which is not as restricted by a leku as you might expect. Then she's got swivel joints at each shoulder and finally swivel joints at each hip. Her legs swing forward so far and back almost just as much again. You, you really do know what to expect with this for posability. The main pro of this design is that it's sturdy. You're not going to rip Ahsoka's arm out of the socket without really having to try. Even with limited articulation, Ahsoka can still look pretty cool thanks to her two lightsaber accessories. One normal length lightsaber blade and one shorter Shoto style blade. Cast in solid white plastic, each lightsaber is a new take on the vintage style thanks to the curved hilts. She can hold them firmly in each hand, either facing front or back, and I think they look good. Now this wouldn't be an Outer Worlds action figure review without everybody's favourite part, the comparisons. First up, we have a retro collection Ahsoka next to my own favourite Ahsoka figure, the vintage collection Ahsoka Tano from Clone Wars Season 7. Next up, and for a fellow retro collection comparison, we have her next to a wave mate, the Morak Boba Fett. Then we have her next to a Disney Plus stable mate, Cassian Andor from the vintage collection. And finally, we have a retro collection of Sokotano next to a vintage collection, Clone Wars, Anakin Skywalker. So all of this brings us to one final question. Is a retro collection of Sokotano worth getting? If you just want a desk toy to futz around with whilst you work, it would do the job okay, but I'd say the vintage collection version is better suited for that. If you're a retro action figure collector, then yes, this is definitely for you. And if you're looking for something to keep in your pocket and play with when nobody's looking, then yes, this is also definitely for you. You can get Ahsoka for around £9 at the moment on Amazon, which is a fair price. I wouldn't pay much over a tenner for it, retro figures just aren't worth that much, but then as it's been out for a while, if you keep your eyes peeled, you may be able to find it for less. And with that we are done! Have you got the retro collection of Sokotano? If so, what do you think of it? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, please like the video if you've made it this far, that will help the channel immensely. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and until next time, take care in those outer worlds.